Ciao. <laughs> What's happening it's a, here? <laughs> it's a super casual one today. Yeah. I've got my legs up. Oh, yeah. it's just. You've got a nice drink. All you need is someone to be feeding you grapes under a leafy umbrella, and oh my god, yep. perfect. Yep. <laughs> I I couldn't be more chill if I was the Japanese macaque in the hot tub. <laughs> oh, they are very chill. I get relaxed looking at that picture. Yep. Or looking at that video. It's good. Yeah, I don't know. We've just sort of hit record. Uh, there was general chat going on before about uh, general musings and plans and things we've been up to, but yeah, not basic, really book related. Basically, the, the thing is that we both have some rather busy stuff coming up, and uh, our glorious plan about short story April uh, was cut a bit short. <laughs> so we did we did get one short story processed into a shape where I can carry on working on it on my own and then we poked at the second one but uh, but then other plans kicked in so right now we're just sort of rounding things up and, and, and uh, making travel plans and or training plans and, and such. Speaking of travel plans, I've only just realised, but do you recognise this thing over my shoulder here? Mm. Ooh. Do you still have it? Do I do, yes. Um, Glorious. Do, do you still have the foam mat pieces that go in there? Yeah, yeah, they're still, they're still rolled up. They're in there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, man. <laughs> I made that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With, my, with my own little two hands and a sewing machine. <laughs> It was the solution on one of my lo my previous travels to my awful bed, and uh, yeah, it worked pretty well. I should actually make a similar thing to myself, come to think of it. Why haven't I? <laughs> Involves going to get the material and then going to buy all the camping equipment. Mm. Although to be fair, those camping mats were really cheap, which was nice. They gave us a discount as well, because they recognised well, if you don't have our card, does anybody in your family have you have our card? <laughs> I started reciting names. Oh, yep, recognize that one. Five percent off. That's always good when that happens. Yeah. Ooh. So yeah, basically, uh, work-wise, what's happening is that I've been I've been hit with a big load of translation tasks and. Uh, those are somewhat urgent because the client needs to deliver their their part at the end of May, which means I need to deliver my part before that, and because I will be going to the woods for the half of May probably, uh, there there's logistics involved, <laughs> and at the same time, uh, I am trying to finalize the fifth. Uh, part of the serialized translation slash adaptation of Seeker. I've been I've been a little bit too frazzled and too busy to take screenshots and tweet those out, but otherwise uh, it's it's happening. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> And 
and then the antagonist uh, boistering around. So there, there are some very, very different uh, sections tonally, and and those tonal, tonally different sections have to link up in a meaningful manner. And and now that I'm scrolling to the part where the green text is spliced with black text, it is clear that some of these parts I'm struggling with. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so basically, I I have to work out the middle parts, but I do have the end part. Out. So at least there is that. But of course, uh, the other day uh, I received note that there might might be not even a confirmation, but it might be that there might be no rush. Because the <laughs> because the next uh, issue of the magazine that I'm translating this for is having uh, some special issue, which means that uh, they they will postpone uh, releasing the part that they already do have, which means this part I I could easily push it forward a month and and be none the wiser. <laughs> and once I once I knew that there might be no rush, all my half half assed momentum just sort of whistled away. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. They've been received pretty well though, the translations that are in the magazine. Uh we don't really know. Well, the the dude who the magazine the, he likes that, them. The, yeah, but but he's part of the uh, he's part of the magazine team, so that mm. that tells me exactly nothing about the actual reception. Uh. That's that's more like uh, so these are the stories that we received, and and here is uh, my editorial opinion about them. So it does read like uh, like a random person's critique, but I think it's it's more like it's more part of the magazine itself rather than yeah. you know actual uh, reaction from the wild <laughs> i have been uh, i have been spamming my my friends and family with this but they haven't <laughs> said much <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, when I get back from my travels, I should really put up a partitioning board because this is a very busy background. <laughs> There's an awful lot a, going on here. You need a green screen. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Because we've got the, uh, what's over here? This is the, no, nah, no spoilers here. So this is like some main arc stuff. And then all this is like character names <laughs> and just shorthand notes. And all the rest of this, uh, uh, it's slowly becoming more obsolete <laughs> by the minute. And then on the other side, we've got all the outrun and stuff. Uh, and then over in that corner, there's all random drawings and stuff related to Chaos Nova. We, we haven't even gotten to the main arc uh, discussion where we draw the mind map. Mm -hmm. Because the, all the other works caught up. So fast that we didn't even get to do that yet. I have a very stupid question.
question. Uh, the, the trip that you're going on right now, is that the trip that will end up here? No. Or, oh, okay, so this, this one is a shorter one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the plan is, we're trying to be sneaky about this and get <laughs> a lot of our touristing done and out of the way so that the next time we plough through and have to meet parents in Estonia and uh, Swedonia and all these glorious places, uh, we can we can get all our touristing done in Germany and stuff. Trip one, and then trip two, we can just drive to Czech Republic where we meet one of our friends, and then from there, I think it's it's not a long drive from the Republic to Estonia, so again, we can. Okay, so trip one. This will be the touristy trip. Mm -hmm. um, Claire gets to see Paris. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> as far as I've heard. And then uh, trip two uh, will be bringing you all here. Yeah, okay. in like September time is when we okay. plan okay, okay. our yeah, little yeah, invasion. That, 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 makes, that makes a lot more sense. Uh, this actually makes all the planning easier as well because. Mm. Uh, how long's the first trip? Bah. 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 I like, do know that we we might both be coming back to the UK in the middle uh, to do the Churchill War Rooms tour, and then we'll stay here, and then after we've done that, we'll go back to Europe for the second trip that takes <laughs> us to Estonia. So we're going to be together for a very long time, I think. But like uh, on a scale of uh, week to month, you're thinking mm. like month-ish. Month and a half is oh, okay. probably the ballpark. Okay, because uh, that would uh, uh, that would leave some time. Like there would be uh, there would be a return time when there's no trip happening where mm -hmm. we can you know gather around and do the main art chat and maybe even some short story stuff. Although, uh, knowing our planning... <laughs> uh, yeah, probably not. I, I think it's it's actually more viable. Uh, the the co-op sessions are actually more viable when we're together in the same space. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this, there's, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uh, planning and a lot of uh, oh <laughs> outlining going on. <laughs> I plan to stay in touch while I'm on my trip anyway, like I did previously. Um, so, anytime I'm on Skype, I'll just say hello. Um, but I don't think they'll lead to any work sessions or anything like that. Yeah, It'll just be a. Uh, I think. Uh, did, did we try to schedule work sessions during the previous trip? I don't know if they were so much work sessions, but they were time set aside to dedicate to. Writing slash Chaos Nova slash other things. Yeah, I mean there were chat sessions, but uh, we didn't actually schedule any work per se. I don't think. Mm. So yeah, that's uh, uh, that that's another challenge. <laughs> like uh, one one of the challenges that were uh, that were constantly trying to work around is to you know, build up that work momentum, uh, build up a work schedule and then of course when other things kick in, like for example I, I have tasks for the Latvians, <laughs> then uh, uh, then all that is out of the window, so it's like there's, there's a lot of weaseling going on, <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to uh, sneak some work in. So yeah, uh, currently
short story as a release chunk would be too small, but let's say three short stories for nine, as a 99 cent bundle might already work. So hmm. this, is, this is something that we could do. Because okay. e even even so, the the current uh, the current collection, the first encounters collection, would be rather short anyway. It would be six stories. We've currently got six in the basket with two potential to be written, I think, or four potential to be written. So twelve, if we do the no, optimal. No, 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 no. I think we are speaking about different things. That that are in the... Like, like salvage yeah. mission, uh, taking flight. I'm speaking about the, the very clear concept of stories where we quote unquote meet a character for the first time and that round up got really, got rather small in the end. <laughs> While this is going on, Dad's got a new cast on, ooh, and he's waiting for an x-ray, ooh. So, maybe good news today, we'll see. Release for money at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
that is that is the state of things. Going back to travels and plans and such real quick, uh, there will be content. I will be uh -huh. uploading to my channel uh, tour videos whenever I can get to an internet. And I will try to avoid, last time there was an hour long video <laughs> from, I think it was Groningen to Estonia, which if you know your geography is the Netherlands, Groningen through Denmark, Germany, Sweden, and then across to Estonia. Uh, it was an hour long video, and it, uh, no, not good. I need to, because the <laughs> editing of it was a hassle, and then the uploading of it took far too much bandwidth and time, which made it ineligible for doing a campsite. So I need to make sure it's shorter videos, and so that is, Shorter videos, more frequently uploaded. That's yeah, the plan. Yeah, if you if you have like uh, I don't know, it doesn't have to be a daily daily vlog, but if it's like uh, a few day uh, a few days worth of uh, video notes spun together into a five minute uh, montage, <laughs> then that that would be like perfect. Yeah. Keep and it simple. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. And I think I'm going to have my laptop with I'm like 90% sure I'm going to take my laptop with me. There's that 10% uncertainty that, oh my god, I'm going to break it or it's going to fall out the back of the van and I'm never going to see it again. Um, but I will just be extra vigilant, which means I will have my full ed video editing suite. So it will be in, in widescreen doodads, not 4.3 like the last one was. So, and when... When I changed the video from original to the documentary, which is in widescreen, it just made everything look really stretched out, which wasn't good. So, yes. And there is that. Mm-hmm. All this reminded me that I haven't uh, updated stuff on the website for like <laughs> several <laughs> weeks. Then again, I haven't done it on my own. It's just been too much. I think there's just been too much stuff yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. So uh, bas basically, much. that's that is the gist of today's chat. There is mm -hmm. so much going on, and uh, and all the all the travels and works and everything just crashes down at once, and and the great Why? work <laughs> suffers a little bit for that. So, mm. so there is that. On the other hand, there is sunshine outside. But it might be for you. There was sunshine here. It's now a terrible, dreary, grey day. Oh, okay. And it's going to be this way for the for the week, apparently. Not happy. Or for the next five days. I opened my mum's laptop earlier and it gave a weather report. I didn't want to see the weather report. <laughs> it was not a good weather report. So, yeah. Sad face. But I did get a lot of work done on the van the other day. You know, the other day when I was like, well... If I'm disciplined with myself, I will go out there. I went out there and I got some shit done, so... I call that a win. <laughs> <coughs> and on that note, I would say let's wrap up because now I need to start doing some of the work that's <laughs> raining down on me. It looks, it looks really bright there. I am really jealous. Ha, 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 ha.